Welcome back uh, to Dunkirk Dunes. We're going to go ahead and do uh, Anzac France and Canada, or Anzac Canarance, as uh, G.I. Joe would say if I got that right. So for Canada, we have seven. Um, Canada kind of got a beat down last turn. They lost uh, two transports, um, one to the Germans, one to the Italians. We're just going to save our money. We're going to save that seven, carry it over till next round. For Anzac, uh, Anzac has 14 to spend, and I'm going to go ahead and spend 10 of it on a transport and an infantry, and I'm going to save four, carry it over till next turn. So as far as uh, moves here, I don't actually have any combat moves, I believe, just some non-combat movements. And I don't believe I have any on the Canadian side. Um, I lost my transport that I had there in C-Zone 91. Detroit was kind enough to come in and uh, sink that for me with his Italian bomber. So going over to the Pacific side, to Anzac, there's a few things that we're going to do for non-combat. Uh, one is we're going to take our transport here that's in 42 and we're going to hop on over to 41. Take our, actually I'm just going to take one infantry I think with me. I'm going to leave one on Java and I'm going to take one with me over to Sumatra. And we're going to claim that Dutch territory um, in the name of the Anzacs. So I'll flip that over here when we get to the end. The other non-combats, um, this fighter in Malaya is going to go one, two, three, over to Calcutta. Okay. And then these two fighters that are in Queensland are going to go one into Northern Territory 2 into 55, 3 into 42, 4 into 37, and they left from an airbase so they can go 5 into Malaya. Both of them taking that same movement there. And then I also have here in C Zone 54, uh, I've got a destroyer and a cruiser. And these are going to go ahead and sail uh, three. They're leaving from a naval base, so they're going to go one into 55, two into 42, and three into 47. They're going to join that uh, British destroyer there. So we've got three now. They're in 37. That's going to help block, creating a nice set of blockers there. Uh, let's see. The other movement that I have. So I've got a transport here in 62. Um, he's leaving from a naval base as well. He's going to go one into 63, pick up the guy in New Zealand, and he can still go two more because of the naval base he left from. So one, that's really it's number two. He's going to go into 52, and you'll notice 52 is adjacent to 66, which is all the way on the other side of the board here. So he ends up right here on the ship in 66 at sea. Um, and if I understand right, I'll have to go back and check, but I think when he crosses to this side of the board, I think he actually becomes Canadian. I'll have to double check that, but I think that's the case. Um, let's see, and I think that is all of my movements here for Anzac. I believe I've moved everything I wanted to move. Um, so as far as the French go, just a couple 
real simple things. Um, the guy in French Central Africa is going to move into French Equatorial Africa. Um, the guy in Morocco, I'm going to go ahead and send him into Algeria. And then the French fighter in London is going to head on out 1 into 109, 2 into 104, 3 into 91, and 4 he's going to land in Gibraltar. And I think that is essentially it. I think I've moved pretty much everything that I can. Um, as far as income goes, Canada is still at seven. Um, and they carried over seven from last time. So they will have 14 to spend next turn. And for Anzac, they have now annexed Sumatra, which is going to bump them up four more. Uh, they were at 14, so that's going to put them at 18 for Anzac. And, uh, of course, their, their bonuses don't kick in until they're at war with Japan, so that doesn't apply yet. Um, now for placements. So, well, let me, let me collect the income here real quick. Um, so we're going to do 18 plus the 4 that we carried over before gives us, if I did the math right, 22 for Anzac for next turn. And, of course, my, my placement, I'm just going to go ahead and place my transport there in 62 and my infantry in uh, New South Wales. And I think that is basically it for uh, Anzac Canada France, or however you want to say it. Okay, oh, um, let me show you the the uh, casualties for round two here. So here they all are. Um, a few more uh, neutrals. Uh, great big pile of German infantry. And some German air power. Um, German tanks, German mech, three German artillery. Uh, the, the German Kriegsmarine um, went to the bottom of, uh, of the Atlantic there. And then there's uh, quite a pile of uh, Russian infantry also lost. I love the colors on these. I, I've been working on painting my pieces and uh, have pretty much finished my Russians. I, I'm going to do a, a video to kind of showcase at least those Russians that are now finished. Um, Russian sub was lost. The uh, Japanese doubled their losses from last round. They lost two infantry this time instead of just one. So Japan has had really light losses so far. Uh, one Chinese was lost. There you see the uh, British. They lost lots of naval units and a couple of uh, planes and an infantry. Italy, of course, lost uh, one fighter and a couple infantry. And then there are the two Canadian transports that I mentioned. Um, and then one French infantry. So those are, those are the uh, losses for round two. So on to round three. Thanks, guys, for watching. Of course, I forgot to do the recap. Um, disposition of forces. So let's go through that real quick. So for Canada, um, there is an infantry and an artillery in Quebec. There is uh, two infantry in Scotland. Um, there is, now I'll have to double check the rules, but whether it's Canadian or Anzac, there is a transport with an infantry on board in C-Zone 66. There is in Gibraltar an infantry and a tank. In Egypt, there are two Canadian or Anzac infantry. Um, let's see, I think that's it for that side of the board. Come over here, and there is an Anzac fighter in Calcutta. 
in Malaya, there's two Anzac fighters and an Anzac infantry, along with uh, three British infantry and a British anti-aircraft gun, I believe, from Hambone. Uh, sea Zone 37, there is an Anzac destroyer and an Anzac cruiser, along with a British destroyer. Sumatra, there's one infantry. Java, there's one infantry. Uh, sea Zone 41, there is one Anzac transport. Uh, moving further east, we've got two infantry and an artillery in Queensland. Two anti-aircraft guns and two infantry in New South Wales. One transport in 62. And I believe that does it. Thanks, guys. I gotta do another recap. I forgot to recap France. Um, for what it's worth, France has two infantry in London, a French fighter in Gibraltar, two French infantry in Algeria, one French infantry in French Equatorial Africa, one French infantry in Transjordan, one French destroyer in Sea Zone 81. And that should do it. For real this time. Thank you.